Well, it wouldn't be girls' night out if uh, ladies didn't stop in for a little bit of bubbly, and that's what you guys are going to have on tap, Britt, here at Bricks for girls who are starting their girls' night out on May 5th. Yeah, we, uh, we're new to the neighborhood, super excited to be here in Inglewood, so we thought we'd start pouring everybody a little splash of vouv, have them come down, check out the Bricks photo booth. Um, there's parking out back for everybody for girls' night, so it seemed like a good place to start off. Now, you mentioned you guys are new to the neighborhood, very new, in fact, I think about four days old right now. Uh, how do you give people the rundown on exactly what you guys do at Bricks? Um, it's kind of hard to sum it up. Um, <laughs> everything is fairly well curated, and then the thought behind the shop was to get people to find the proper interaction with the food and wine that they're drinking. So a um, little bit of a consultation, finding out what you're drinking, walking people through the bins up and down the middle of the store, and kind of showing them, yeah, what we can do to help uh, pair their wine with whatever it is that they're up to that night. That's amazing. So what do you what do you pick first? Do you pick the food first or the wine first? I think food first. Yes. Okay. Yeah, always food first. Uh, you go with what, yeah, what you're really hungry for, and then okay. you can always find a wine to fit in that, so. That's amazing. So you're going to help people out there who are invited to a dinner party and they want to take a bottle. They know what they're serving, but uh, you're going to help be able to give them that little bit of confidence to know they're giving something that uh, the people who are putting on the party are really going to enjoy. Yeah, I mean, whether it's personality, we even have a bin that's called meeting the in-laws. So um, if you kind of have to wow whoever your, your dining guest is going to be, um, yeah, whatever it is, we're here to help out. Tell us about uh, all the different bins that you have. Um, so we've done everything from roast chicken to under 20. We did a what to drink when you're mowing your lawn <laughs> and you're doing yard work. Um, so sustainable drinking, if you can call it that. <laughs> uh, yeah, some lower alcohol choices if you're just out hanging out at the beach for the day. So A junk food pairing? It is a junk food. Uh, we've done a little bit with uh, salted caramel ice cream and donuts and things like that. So yeah, it really, whatever you're up to is kind of... We'll what, what a great idea for a wine store. Uh, and it's not just wine, of course, here. Uh, you do have a pretty extensive beer cooler. You've got some spirits over here. Yeah, so the beer selection was kind of close to my heart. Um, well curated, trying to find the best sort of product from each category, working with some of the great local producers. Um, eventually, we're going to have a growler bar, so we'll have, oh, cool. um, yeah, some of the local breweries opening up, throwing some of their, their brews on tap. And even uh, notice the table, some wine, some glasses, so you have room for some tastings. Will you be doing public and private tastings here? Yeah, so uh, private tastings have already started. We've done a couple in the space. Um, again, you can find all of that info on our website. And then public tastings uh, launch May 19th. So um, every Thursday night we'll be doing something kind of fun in the shop. So. Sounds amazing. Britt, thanks for having us down here today. Yeah, thanks for coming down. We're having a great time. We've been spending the whole show in Englewood. Don't forget, Girls' Night Out, of course, is May 5th. We want to thank the folks from the BRZ. We want to thank Megan Zanuck and the girls over at SB, and, of course, Britt and her partners here at Bricks Wine Company. Thanks so much for joining us. We're going to see you next time on Go.